Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So you know what? So I'm thinking about doing some things. I'm, I'm mad that I'm hurt the hell up, but I think me being hurt, it's, it's allowing me to think because I've been growing my channel or just opening up more. Because at first I wasn't even going to do, I was just going to, my channel was going to be for cards to like advertise cards and then sell them. But then I started doing readings and then I fell in love with it. And now I fell in love with you all's energy. It's like I can just feel it. It's like it's infectious, right? So I was thinking, because I'm in the tri-state area on the East Coast. So New York, Jersey, Philly, right? Everything is like within touch. New York is like 45 minutes from me. Philly's 25, 20, 25, right? So I'm right smack dab in the middle. So while I was going through my cards trying to figure out what deck I want to use, guys, you know what I think I'm going to do next year. And I'm saying it now. That way I can plug it, but I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it, and then I'm going to start looking. Well, in Philadelphia, they have this thing. There's this boat. It's a yacht, actually, that you can rent. You can reserve, whatever. But normally other people can reserve it, too. But I believe you can reserve the whole thing for yourself. And I do things like that. Like, I, I will rent out a bowling alley. I will rent out places like that, and then we can just have a whole good weekend. So that's just been me over the years. So I'm thinking... I think I'm going to set up, and I think it's on the Mazul, Mazolo, or whatever it's called. But sometime next year, when it's nice, I'm going to set up a meet and greet, a get together on that yacht in Philadelphia, PA. Right? And I know a lot of you are from Philly because a lot of you order your cards. A lot of you are from Jersey. A lot of you are from New York, right? We're like, bam, bam, bam. We're right there. A lot of y'all are from D.C. I see you, Virginia. I see all y'all. I see you. So, guys, I'm going to set that up. And it's going to be a mini meet and greet, right? It's going to be a mini meet and greet. And I think I'm going to do maybe 50 people because I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to hold it or something like that. But I'm going to say like 50 people, guys, and then the tickets are going to go for sale. I'm going to work this shit out because, hey, if you set up deals with people, they, they let you do it. So I've done it before, but just not on this big a scale. So I'm going to do it again because I want to meet you guys, right? So I don't know, guys. So that's coming next year to meet and greet. All right, guys. But for now, we're doing Karmic Tales 3. So yeah, I'm going to do a meet and greet, guys. And it's going to be on a yacht in Philadelphia. Because I want it when the weather's nice. Because when you get on the yacht, it takes you from, I think, from Philly. And it travels all the way down to the Delaware. It travels down the Delaware River. It takes you all the way down to Delaware. And then it turns around and it comes back. And I think it's an hour and a half each way. So you get to spend three hours with me. Uh, you get to eat there. It has like three floors and it also has a dance floor. You can go outside. You can take pictures. You get to see all the bridges in Philly. I think there's four of them. So guys, it'll be a really good time and I'm a fucking riot. I just damn. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And you probably get to meet some of my family members if they come up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I was about to say goodbye. Lord, I'm losing myself. Okay. Karmic, what's going on with you? I'm getting excited, guys, because that's going to happen. It is. Remember I said it. Oh, my God. Somebody is going to a tarot reader straight out the gate. So, y'all know when I get this one here. Y'all know when I get this one here. I just got to go and I just got to pull out tarot, right? And here's tarot right here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is in the tarot reader? Because once we get the tarot reader, it just is what it is, right? This is what it is. Who's going to see a tarot reader spirit and why? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, somebody's looking for information. Okay, so this person that's looking at the tarot reader, they're going to the tarot reader because they just want final answers because this person is really considering coming in and celebrating with you. Either that or they know you're a tarot reader. This person is none other than the King of Swords. He's been very methodical. He's thinking. And that's why he's crossing his, dotting his I's and crossing his T's. He's doing his due diligence. He's not trying to be a karmic. He's just trying to see what this connection really is. Right? Yes. Because he sees victory with you. Maybe this is what the tarot reader saw, told him. That this is victory. 
But this is who went to go see the tarot reader. Now let's see what the tarot reader told this person. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What did the tarot reader tell this person? Guys, I believe this is your person that went to go see the tarot reader. Not the karmic. Your masculine or your divine feminine went to see the reader. Guys, I haven't done any personal, so they didn't come see me. <laughs> so it wasn't me. <sighs> Although I have read you guys, like, because you tell me. Like, accidentally I've read you as a collective, but I've read you. That's what you told me. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what did the tarot reader tell this person? Like, my energy's all over the place now. Ooh, spirit. What is it? What did the tell reader tell your person? What did they learn? That they need to come and talk to you. Page of Wands. That they need to go and talk to you. And they need to try and fix this shit with you. And they need to rebirth whatever happened. You two broke up. And the tarot reader said, go fix that shit. This is the moon in reverse. The tarot reader said, you're not going to know until you go. There's a lot of bricks that you haven't unturned. That's the moon. So the tarot reader is telling this person to come back to you. Yeah, they tell them to come and talk to you and try again. What else did they learn from this tell reader spirit? What else did the tell reader tell them? Sun in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Swimming away to calm the waters. Okay. So the tarot reader is telling them that it's not going to be easy because you turned your back on this person. Like, they shaded you before. Like, they ghosted you. Not realizing that you were a gift. So this tarot reader is telling them that you are a gift from spirit and that they need to go back to you. This is Six of Swords. The tarot reader is telling them you need to go back. Tell readers to tell them you need, you need to go back. Mm -hmm. What else did they learn from this tell reader spirit? Tell readers telling them that this is your emotional fulfillment. This is who you love, and this person loves you. Tell readers say you two ended a, a partnership before. You two were together before. Whatever type of partnership it was, y'all could have been together for a few months, a few weeks, whatever. Y'all ended a partnership. And this was some lessons that this person had to learn. They had to learn some lessons here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else? What did this person learn? What else did they learn from this tarot reader? Not a wand in reverse. Strength card in reverse. Five of wands in reverse. So the tell reader is telling this person that they came in before in their Knight of Wands energy. And that's unacceptable with you. But this person is weak for you. They're weak for you when it comes to you. They are weak when it comes to you. But they let other people get in their ear. And the tell reader said you need to stop listening to other people. You need to stop listening to other people. What else? Tell me to say you're the magician. You have everything that you want. You can manifest this connection back. But this person needs to heal their broken heart. They feel that they broke your heart. Or you're going to have to break someone's heart. The tarot reader is telling your person, because the person that's trying to stop them is a karmic. 
But the tarot reader is saying you need to manifest what you want. You're going to have to break someone's heart. He's going to have to break this Queen of Cups heart, this karma, their ex. This person wants to come and celebrate with you, eh? Hmm. Yeah, tarot reader said they need to let that tower fall, whatever that is with that Queen of Cups, and that they have unfinished business with you, which is the Ten of Cups. The tarot reader said you're their Ten of Cups, and that they shouldn't hold back any longer when it comes to this connection. Oh, wow. The tarot reader said that nine times out of ten, this person, they told them that they're probably going to ask for your hand in marriage. They're going to propose themselves to you. They're going to make an offering to you. The tarot reader told them that they love you. And that is who they want to be with. They want to be with you. Period. Amen. Yeah. You have to leave the other people alone, the lovers in reverse, if this is what you want. If you want this new beginning, you got to do it. You got to leave these other people alone. That's what the tarot reader says. Your person went to go see a tarot reader because he's thinking about or she's thinking about coming in and celebrating with you, like seriously, seriously. And the tarot reader told them to go for it, that you're their wish fulfillment, their ten of cups, everything, that... They're going to have to break someone's heart in order to get to you. And the tarot reader also said that I can see you proposing yourself to this person. Nine of Cups. Like, you're probably going to be engaged to this person. I didn't say it. But whoever your person went to go see said it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.